Hi everyone, Rick Bray with BT BOCES Instructional Support, and at this point in the game you have your Pear Deck slide presentation all ready to go and you'd like to share it with your students. Let's take a look at how to do that. Now there's a couple ways to do it. Uh, our preferred way at this time is to go to either Google Drive or Google Slides and launch from there. So to do that, right, we go to Drive, I find my presentation, maybe it's up in the quick access here, maybe it's down. Uh, and normally, right, with a Google Slide Deck, you just hit present and go. And you can totally do that with Pear Deck and that's the beauty. You can still present this as a like traditional, if you will, presentation. You'll see the Pear Deck slide they just won't be interactive for your audience. If you want to unlock that interactive beauty with Pear Deck, you want to launch the Pear Deck add-on, open it up, and you'll see on the right-hand bar, there is a button here, present lesson. You want to click here. Now, the little heads up I'll give you, you can also launch these from the Pear Deck website, but what we found is if you have any like animations in your presentation, like GIFs, GIFs, whatever you want to call it, um, at the time of filming this video, when you launch from the Pear Deck website, it appears that those animations don't actually move. They, they take on more of a static single image file. Whereas if we launch this way with the launch uh, present lesson in the Pear Deck add-on, they seem to animate. So just something to be mindful of. Um, so I'm gonna click present lesson and I'm gonna start a new session because of something I did. So. From here, it's gonna drive, you'll notice, the presentation out to a new tab, and it's gonna give us, we'll talk about this window in a later video, uh, if you're familiar with Kahoot, quizzes, any of those kind of websites, uh, you want your students to go to joinpd.com, and just like all those other platforms, that website is never going to change, right? Joinpd.com, when asked for a code, they want to enter this code, P in this case, P-W-O-B-P. And that is unique for this session. If I end the session and start a new one, it'd be a new code, just like all those other platforms. We don't think it's case sensitive, but hey, I'm not saying it is or isn't. Um, and what else was I going to say? Uh, life is good. Um, oh, right. It's going to attach to a student's Google account, right? In order to do this, uh, your participant has to have a Google account. It is going to ask to like authenticate that Google account just as a heads up. So at that point, you're ready to go. You can see here it says waiting for students. As students come in, you'll see one of two, two of two, three of two. Uh, because it's authenticating with a Google account, you don't have to worry about those crazy like fake names that they like to put up to be funny. So that's awesome. When you're ready to roll, you can click the little X and and start your presentation. Uh, one thing to keep in mind, when your students sign in, they will see this presentation. Like you don't necessarily start it. They will see this first slide. So that might be a good place to put an interactive slide in as a bell ringer problem for students to work on while everyone's joining. Last thing I wanna say about launching, if mid presentation, someone comes in late or someone gets kicked out, whatever, you'll notice the code is right up here all the time, right? It's displayed up here um, and students can go to joinpd.com, enter that code. You can also click on this code and it'll bring that page back up for you. So there you go, that is how to launch a Pear Deck slide so that it can be interactive. Um, in the next video, we're gonna talk about all these controls that appear down here on the bottom. So that's pretty slick. Um, but as always, if you have any questions about launching Pear Deck presentations or anything else EdTech related, by all means, please feel free to email me uh, at rbray at btboces.org. You're welcome to subscribe to this channel to get updates when new videos are posted. And as always, thank you for watching.